Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the battle pass in the game Raid. So Raid uh, came out a year ago. I've been playing it every day pretty much for, for a year. And from that point of view, I guess I could be seen as a pretty engaged player. And from that point of view, the battle pass is something that probably should be appealing to me. I've not done the battle pass yet, but I thought it'd be interesting to do a video um, kind of giving my views on, on the battle pass and um, kind of my thoughts, really. Um, so I'm not going to really go into, into what Raid is. Raid is a, uh, a, a free-to-play mobile game. I'm playing it on a tablet. Um, and it's kind of a, uh, a, a squad-based RPG where you're doing things in the game and, and unlocking new kind of characters and levelling up your characters and collecting gear and collecting runes and collecting lots of things as you get into the um, kind of... a Kind of, kind of a meta part of the game, which is kind of certainly where I am. Um, where I've got a lot of high-level characters. Um, so the battle pass is something that obviously came around with Fortnite, and the battle pass is kind of interesting. So certainly from a monetization point of view, which is where it mainly came from, because most people in games don't spend any money in free-to-play mobile games. I've spent a bit of money in a raid, maybe about uh, twenty dollars, something like that. Um, I don't really feel the need to spend money. Um, but I do spend a lot of time in the game, so the Battle Pass is probably is designed for someone like me who's really committed to the game, um, but doesn't spend any money at the moment, and he's never going to spend hundreds of dollars like some people do to get all the legendary characters and level them up. I don't really care about that. But this is something that's um, you know kind of t kind of twenty to fifty dollars um, uh, over a certain period of time. Um, so each Battle Pass has a season, uh, which is a which is um, kind of uh, calendar based. So so often a month or or, or uh, six weeks, something like that. And what it is here, as we can see, um, is any, any, anyone who's playing the game, you know, is involved in the battle pass. So even if you don't spend any money. So we can see at the top here, like the silver, they call it. Um, we can see here, I'm level 25 of 100. Um, so all these things where it's got a tick that I've unlocked. So I just do things in the game like I normally would. So in, in that sense, the battle pass is like a, a, like a meta version of the daily, um, there's already daily rewards. Uh, and, and daily you know, daily quests and, and weekly quests and monthly quests and you kind of do those and you get rewards. This is like a, like a more impressive version of that. So you get that for free anyway, so that's kind of good for, for engagement. So you can see here, um, I've done enough in the game to, to collect this one. So this is the core pass rewards. I get this set of, of um, gear. Uh, but we can see here, um, you know, really clearly put, if I was a gold pass member, um, I would get all this extra stuff. So I would get, what would I get? I would get... Um, this character here, the Frozen Banshee. Um, so I get her, and I get um, a an Ancient Shard where I can where I can summon a character. I get an XP boost. I get um, this is the, the gems is the hard currency, the currency you can spend in the game. I get all these another set of um, gear, which is much better than the one you get for free. I get all this kind of soft currency and and, and um, some runes for, for kind of really heavily loving stuff up. So, and that costs 39, basically 40 US dollars. I'm happy to be playing in the in the Australian app store at the moment. So it's about 25 US dollars, um, like 20 pounds, I suppose, in English money. Um, so anyway, I can collect these ones. Um, I can collect this one here again, um, collect this. This is a rune, um, greatly increases the, the attack stats on my artifacts. Um, but obviously I'm a player who, who, who the game developers would like to be spending um, Money in terms of this battle pass because if I'm playing the game as much as I am, then then spending um, you know I could easily spend twenty five dollars. Um, it wouldn't be every month. We can see in the top right here the battle pass season. This is the first season, so there's still two weeks, almost like three weeks still left on that. I mean, I'm probably not going to get up to to level a hundred if we go all the way up here. We can see all these things I could collect. Um, so level a hundred, um, you know, I can max all that stuff out and get all this kind of cool cool stuff. Um, and what's interesting is if you have the core, just the core thing, you don't really get loads of stuff, but you just get kind of an extra, you know, extra stuff by the battle pass. So the battle pass kind of helps you a little bit, but obviously what they want to do is they want to make it, you know, like a no-brainer for you to monetize and, and spend and get the gold pass. We can see here if I hit this, get the gold pass. There's actually two different gold passes, so it's you know, again, there's different kind of different um, segmenting. <laughs> so there's the the like thirty-eight ninety-nine US dollar one, and it gives me. Um, unlocks the gold pass, so all the things that I saw on the gold um, tier I get as I unlock those tiers. I have to kind of play the game to unlock those tiers, I don't get it for free. But then there's this other one, this kind of um, 62.99 US dollar, so that's about um, kind of 35, uh, sorry that's Australian dollars, it's about 35 US dollars, so probably about 30 pounds. And not only do I get the gold pass, but I get 25 levels 
instantly. So I get everything I've I've earned um, in the silver pass, get that on the gold pass, and I get plus 25. So if I bought that, I'd move from level 25 to level 50. Um, I mean, you can see, you know, you see the difference. I, you know, I kind of get the, I get this big um, bear. Um, he's an epic defense uh, character, and, I, and, I, and we get this, uh, this one, the another undead horde. The, so she's a, a, a rare attacker. Um, actually, not that useful as a character, I don't think, for my particular setup. But, but um, you know, um, you get uh, another important thing is you get these um, summon, you know, particularly this, the uh, void shard, pretty powerful summoning. Um, thing and, and all this kind of stuff. So, so it, 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 in many respects, I should be doing this. I've not, I've not chosen to do it yet. <laughs> um, but, uh, but I'm the kind of, I'm the kind of player who, 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 who the developer would hope to, to, to be doing it. Um, so this is just, this is just the stuff I've been doing. So you get a different sort of, um, different uh, rewards for doing different things. Um, so it looks like um, what we've done here. Oh, I'm not up there, am I? So if I just unlocked another one, yeah. So I've now unlocked level 26, and that's just um, a spirit potion used to ascend champion. So that's kind of like another leveling sort of thing there. Um, so it is in it is interesting. I, I wonder probably what what, what I'll do is um, is wait until the the, the next season starts because it seems. And that's it's, I guess this is one of the problems with battle passes is it seems a little bit like. They have a duration, so you know you're not going. People aren't going to be spending. People spend at the start of a new season. And if you feel like you're halfway through, I think the season has been well over. It's well been well over a month since they launched this, um, so it's not very clear. I don't think how how long the season's going to last for. Um, and obviously, in stuff like um, Fortnite as well, that they were um, kind of uh, exclusive items that if you didn't get them in the season, you never got them. I'm not quite sure this is the case for these characters, whether. They're kind of one-off ones, which is kind of what you need to do because you need to kind of drive some sort of exclusivity around it. Although personally, that wouldn't really bother me because I don't I have a very specific um, kind of character set that I'm kind of collecting, so I don't just collect any old characters. But that's me just being being odd. Um, but I do think it is it is it is very interesting, um, uh, and probably at some point I will I will I will dip in, um, and uh, maybe I'll do a video around that if I decide to do that in the next kind of couple of days. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, uh, this is the long view where I play free to play mobile games for, for as long as I can. There's not many games I've played for, for more than Raid. There's, there have been a few. There's a few I've played for more than a year. Not very many. Um, we'll see how far I, I get with Raid. Still plenty more to do, I have to say. Um, so I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, and if you haven't tried it, go, go out and download it from, from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Um, really, really good. Um, kind of a, particularly in terms of the, the long term meta game there's always kind of stuff to be to be to be doing and always kind of new things coming along so um uh, recommended from that point of view and thanks for watching the video um if you're into free to play mobile games and um, please do subscribe to the channel but otherwise uh thanks for watching this one and hope to see you again soon